We're going to start continuing on chapter three about environmental scanning. We talked about social, we're going to talk social forces that involve all the social things like demographics and stuff like that. We talked about the trends, remember? We talked about some trends here in Qatar, which is very important for us to know. You have to know very well the environment that you're going to operate in. What are different kinds of things that are going to affect you and affect your business? Gathering information as much as you can about the environment, about the consumers, about the life surrounding the consumers, about the, the most recent trends and where are they going and how they influence you and your brand and so on. Here, a very interesting thing, there is something called the popular culture. Popular or organic, fruitable culture. Okay, that's exactly the word. It's successful brands. I will, I will challenge you with something. I want you to think, give me an example of a brand that doesn't use sports or music and arts somewhere in their brand or their associations, brand associations, and their communications. Where? Tell me. Who? Tell me. Facebook is the Facebook is a medium that markets for all this as for the popular culture. Facebook is it uses a lot of that. Facebook uses a lot of these kinds of, of, of things to help you to market for your products online. It gives you suggestions in your advertising, gives you suggestions for your communication strategy. Facebook is becoming not just Facebook, and this has been for a long time. It's a, it's a platform where you can be exposed as a brand. And brands are using it in part of the social media campaigns. Facebook is, of course, one of the most important tools. Even here in Qatar, if you if you and later on we will take more advanced courses in marketing, uh, we will talk about how the media habits of people here in Qatar. There's a very interesting study. I would advise you guys if you're interested in marketing from now to, to check it out. And if you're blessed that you're studying in English, because there's a lot of resources in English. It's true. Use it, read it. Yeah, you should have a lot of general knowledge. Northwestern University in Qatar. There is a study, Google it. It's called Northwestern University. Northwestern University uh, Media Study. It's done every couple of years. It's done for seven countries in the Gulf, in the in the Middle East. Okay, check it out. It has the different media habits of people. It's by the way, it's an online and interactive filters. I give it. It's part of my uh, work in my uh, integrate marketing communication class because they use it to gather information about consumers and about their media habits. This is part of the project as well. So to be able to choose the right media. And will I use Instagram? Will I use Facebook? If I use Instagram, what time of the day? What kind of people are on Instagram? When are they on Instagram? What kind of things they do on Instagram? This is how deep the information is available. You know, so you use this information and you use it to place your media in the right way, at the right time, and the message at the right place. So we don't have this information. So it, at the end, it all starts with understanding. And this is what we're trying to do. Here, in principles of marketing, we're trying to basically understand the whole market, all the forces that are influencing me, from technology to social to economic to all. Given the first one, which is social, one important dimension of social is culture. There is what we call the popular culture. What popular culture? Sports, arts, entertainment, music, that's popular culture. That's why many brands, or I want to say most of the successful brands, they use these kinds of things one way or another. Celebrities in sports that appear in crazy, like, for example, a Daydrome brand, and you find a whole football team advertising for Daydrome brand. They, pro they create the link. They create it. They encode it, we decode it, and we get the message. <laughs> That's what happens, right? 
Other things, I give more example, Coca-Cola and Nancy Agram. So we're gonna talk about the yani, examples from our culture, right? They created for a long time also home center, remember? They had Nancy Agram also in their ads. If you go back, you remember the campaign, it was very successful actually. From her home and how her home is a better place and, 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 and because of home center. Can feel yani, a lot of things yani, are yani, happening. So successful brands capitalize on different elements in what we call the pop why is it popular culture? Because everybody likes sports, everybody likes music, everybody likes entertainment. So I'm using trends that are I don't want to call them trends. I want to call them culture. A culture is deeper than a trend because it's enduring, it's sustained. A trend may come and go. A trend may stay for a while and then you know not be there. But culture is culture. Culture is culture. It's different. It's a group of the, of ways and things that people are used to doing regularly, and it is also inherited from one generation to another. So the popular culture. Sports, entertainment, music. We have to know where is it from me. Technology now also, we can add also technology to it. Where am I from that? How can I utilize it for the brand? Is my brand making yani, good use of this culture? Is it using it in the right way? What elements are relevant for the culture and so on? So you have to investigate this. The roles of men, women's attitudes, this is all very important uh, when you are dealing with uh, 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 culture and understanding deeply social uh, factors, values and values, how values are changing, attitudes of people are changing. Yes, values of people may change over time. Although values are something that's really deep and, and, and yeah, they're coming up from uh, roots of your, how you were brought up, your background, your parents, your religion, your beliefs, all of that. Yes, but at the same time, you, as a marketeer, you have to keep observing these things. The attitudes of people, are they changing or are they the same? How are they changing? What changes people's attitude? How can I influence people's attitude? What really shapes people's values? That's very important. And as you can see, the definition of culture, I was just telling you about culture. Values, ideas, I, I would add ways of doing things also that are shared by, the, this is uh, the definition of culture. And they are inherited, you can add to this, from one generation to another. Remember? Let's give examples here in Qatar. Let's talk about the Qatari culture. What are things in the culture here that are really, you know, shaping society? And we can, when we see Qatar, huh, we can get out something that we know, ah, this is Qatar. What? Camels. What else? Camels. Karak, for sure. It's part of the culture, huh? Machbos. Machbos, thank you. It's part of the culture. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, Anud. Anud, sir. Go ahead, Anud. Go ahead. The traditional dress. Yes, the way that you dress. I discovered here in the, in the Gulf also, right, because I lived in the Gulf for a long time. I was born in Kuwait, so I, I, I was never born in Iraq. Uh, that even the traditional dress that may seem this is the Gulf is different from Qatar to Oman to Kuwait to, even the the top for the men it's a little bit different the way they wear the I mean so much details in the culture that when you observe and you see and you can have a background for oh we're doing this because of this 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 that there's reasoning also for doing that also other things about Qatar is that it's a it's kind of a one of the most conservative countries here when it comes to this region or this area compared for example to other uh, gulf countries which is also one of its really observable things in, in the culture yeah. they are the Qatar people are usually conservative people compared Lincoln to other societies in the gulf as well what else very conservative highly conservatism and about the food of course about the dress of course go ahead Yeah, and, and the, what, what shapes the, the culture or how it looks, but then at sports, sports culture is very popular in Qatar. They, are, they want to, in branding, if you want to brand Qatar, and this is one of my, uh, we had this project with some of the students, 
in master class, communication class. I, I, am, I, I also teach IMC on the master level. In the master's level, one term we had branding QU. Okay, and this was a competition between groups, and we had an external advertising agency, such and such one of the best in the world. They joined us in the project and they trained the students how to write the IMC plan and stuff like that. But they students came up with lovely ideas and videos. You can check this on my YouTube channel. I have the, the I put my the best students' projects on my YouTube channel. So you will find lovely videos, lovely ideas. Really I was impressed there. So they were looking for this. How we want the world to see Qatar. What should we stress on? The same thing for your brands. Qatar is also a brand, like all other brands that you're working on. How do you want people to see your brand? How do you think the companies that are running these brands are, are, are looking at them? You know what I mean? Investigate, get information. That's very important. So it's part of, of sports in Qatar. Yes, Qatar wants to, and you can use this as a marketing tool. It wants to expose itself as the capital of sports. You know, more than 60 different kinds of sports events are hosted in Qatar every year. So definitely, it's a, it's a priority in the, in the agenda here in Qatar. All the facilities, all the creation things, all the, uh, the, 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 you know, the main, you know, the stadiums, the ideas, everything, of course, for the World Cup. And not just for the World Cup, they're also trying to, I think the World Cup, inshallah, will just be the beginning of many things, inshallah, to happen after that. It's interesting to understand the culture of people. The, you go to other countries, you see other cultures. You see other things happening. You see other set of values. Even in Qatar, it has changed in people. Why is it with Qatar? You tell me. No, maybe uh, some of the values in Qatar have changed a little bit. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years ago are different than now. Maybe the future generations will come up with new things. Maybe they will think differently about their country. Maybe they will think about other things. It's evolving. But it's worth observing and it's very important to always understand this. Very important. You have, I like the term value consciousness, yani yeah, awareness. Conscious then awareness. Okay, aware of, of the values and the, and what's happening inside your uh, culture. Interesting. Tamam, perfect. Let's move on. Shan time, Tamam. Taban, ethnic, religious groups, other markets, all this educational groups, you have to observe all this. Okay, talking about the education system, for example, in the country. What are the main things that shape it? What are they focusing on? What's happening? That's very important. What are, in, in, in some countries, they have a lot of diversity inside their country in terms of ethnic groups and subcultures. In Egypt, we have a lot of subcultures. We have to visit like people who are living on the sea, like the Mediterranean, or like the Red Sea. They have a different kind of uh, of culture compared to those Muslims living in Upper Egypt in the hot weather with the temples and the ancient Egyptians. They have a different kind of. They are calmer. They are kind of you know. Uh, very kind people, they are different, they are different. When you deal with people who are living on the beach and on the sea, seaside, they are up, they are active, they are always moving around, they are always doing activities and they are different, they are different. Even the way that they talk, the dialect is different. In the same country. Many countries have this, in Qatar here you have people who are tribal, Shwaya, they come from tribes and stuff, people are more modern, who are living in the uh, city. And, it's, it's even in Qatar there is yeah, diversity, there is subcultures. You have to understand this very well. When you, why is this important? Because when you come to design your four P's, why am I always talking about the four P's? Because this is your toolbox as a marketer. This is what you're going to be using. Okay? So you have to know how this, maybe this is going to affect your distribution channels, how you distribute your products. You have to differentiate, for example, between Wakra and uh, Shamal and Ur and I don't know where. You have to make it a, a different plan here and here and there. The way to deal with these people is different than these people. Is different than these. People. We have to different strategies. Pricing may differ. The product attributes and the product may differ. The communication strategy might differ. I have to take 
of these kinds of subcultures inside any society that is in the world. Very important, these things, because you have to investigate them. Uh, geographically, we talked about this shifts in population. Many non-nationals live in the Arab world, especially in the GCC. These are extra slides that I think that I added. Uh, it's related to some uh, Arab countries. It's very important. Yeah, these kinds of markets, for example, you only see them in Arab countries, mostly. Some may parts of Europe, but in Africa, I remember I was brought up in Kuwait, and there was a place, I can't remember the name, I think there was a place, yeah, they specifically sell the traditional, you know, you go, there is a, a, a gold souk, uh, and there is something, I can't remember the name. Barkiya, Kaisa, something like this. And everybody sitting on the floor, putting the story. It was, it was very traditional place. Shema Suwa if was Adam Kameni. I mean, it really was very traditional. And when we didn't have the malls, yeah. This was only for the mall business, by the way. And I, know, I remember when I was in Kuwait, there was no malls. I think there was just maybe one or two comments when we had to go yani, far away to go to the mall. Yeah, it was not just something you know, accessible. But this has changed. But still, ethnic markets are one of the main... Uh, ethnic markets, I think it's one of the main things that we find in the GCC countries and in Arab countries, generally speaking. Yeah. These specific slides are dedicated to Arab countries, so it's interesting. You can always use them. They're not in the book. So these you can take from the slides and from the notes that you take with me inside the class. The household patterns, how they changed, for example, also in the in this area. A global look, including the Arab world, there is a delay in the age of marriage, mainly for economic reasons. It's not just in our countries. We think that only in our countries have a delay in the in the in the in the, in the long ago they used to get married much faster and much much younger, actually. Now the age, marriage age is getting older, more. Maybe because, mainly for economic reasons. I would say also for cultural reasons. Now that women, they want to go out to work. They want to have their own, uh, you know, financial uh, things. They want to, yeah, it's different. It's becoming different. Women are thinking differently. And Shaykh, this is crazy. And you know, Allah, they tell me, go sit at home. Now I will go, Saraha. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I want to go to the oldies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is the culture, this is the society. Not like everybody's telling you, ah, what is this? You're 23, you have to get married now. You're too old. If this was long time, it was like that. But now, no, no, it's okay. It's, it's part of the culture. But always your mommy is on your head. This is part of the culture. <laughs> yeah, come on. This is part of the culture. It will always remain like that. But I'm, st I'm talking about the social forces are not like before. Yeah. And the facts say numbers that not just locally, they're not just in Arab countries, even globally, the marriage age is becoming higher and also more than before. Of course, economic reasons is one of the main factors as well. Okay, I mean, uh, financial recessions, uh, the, the pandemic, yeah, it's like many things are delaying. Uh, the process here. Tama. Tama and geographical shifts in population also, please read and know this information. I put it there for you to benefit from. Uh, the economic environment, we're going to talk about the economic environment, of course. Tama and definitely, a lot of changes have happened in income distribution, in the way people think about uh, business. Uh, now, the trend also is family business. A lot of uh, family business are coming. You know what? Like more than before, but it's becoming a trend. Marketers should consider these patterns and consider these changes. How people are dealing with their savings. And people are not saving like before. Life is different now. It's becoming more demanding. How do they save their money? Different investment options. What the options available for people now? They are different than options that were available previously. And things are really uh, changing. When we come back to economy also, this is more knowing knowing important the seasons inside the country. And this is very important. In Qatar, for example, 
what is the month that people start spending more? What is the month that people start going outdoor more? They start using indoor facilities more. What are the main places that Qataris go to? What are the main places that non Qataris go to? That's very important. You have to know this kind of information. Okay, this is very important. So at this stage in your projects, start saying, all, first of all, know what is your product, what is your brand in the beginning. Just create a simple profile, as I said in phase one. You're going to go in depth more when you talk about the product strategy. It's later on in the project. But at the beginning, at least have an intro about what's your brand, what's the different you know, dimensions of the product, versions, what's the main things that feature it, what's the names of the brands under this uh, company, and so on. And then you start working on your SWOT analysis. From what? From what we are talking about now. Start back. SWOT analysis for what? For the company that you have chosen in Qatar. Don't do a SWOT analysis at Google. That's not required. Just in Qatar. Where is the brand? In Singapore? In Qatar. Right? So the SWOT analysis is made for SWOT analysis is current. SWOT analysis is something that's current. Yeah, you know, it's, this is why it's part of a big part of your marketing plans. That's called the situational analysis. Situation, yeah, and what is the current situation? What are the current, we're going to talk about SWOT by in detail, inshallah, chapter two on uh, Monday, inshallah. And there's going to be a workshop inside the class about SWOT analysis, inshallah, in your groups. I think maybe one is the amateur, the amateur will focus on that. This is the most important thing here. So understand that you have to investigate and dig SWOT's strengths and weaknesses inside the company and opportunities and threats that are outside the company, surrounding them. For more, you have to read things like that, gather information like this so that it can be, you can sit on a brainstorming session. I would suggest that you can meet online together as a group and brainstorm and divide tasks here. Now the role of the team leaders divide. Okay, uh, Fatma and Maryam, you are going to do the uh, uh, internal. You take the strengths, you take the weaknesses. Yalla, go ahead. And uh, uh, Rauda and uh, Anwud, you're going to do the opportunity, you're going to do the threat. And divide the job amongst you girls. Work together. Okay? You have to love each other for 15 weeks. Please. Okay, and then you can have fights, no problem. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Not an issue. Taban, inflation, deflation, how things in Qatar. Don't you, don't you all realize recently, for example, in Qatar, that for the past couple of years, one, two years, prices have slightly increased? Huh? Yeah, and when I go to Carrefour, when I went to Carrefour in 2013 to buy food for my house, now in 2021, the fatura has increased. For sure. Prices, yeah. And now even Qatar is starting to depend more on local brands and local production in some of its brands. And I, I, I think it's very obvious, especially in the dairy products and this, this recently, it's crazy. And there's specific things that I like to buy and I go and I can't find them anywhere. Only Baladna. You have to buy yeah. Baladna. But there is something around this, I don't know. But this is also something to observe in the economy. If you are dealing with a fast moving consumer good products, now you know we talked about it, huh? So this is affecting me. Is the country hindering that I bring any kind of product from the broad? If I have to make a local product, I have to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. This is something that you have to observe in the economy. If he a certain direction inside the country that we want to focus on local products, you want to improve the quality of local products. Okay, you have to understand what's happening. What's happening? That's very important. Jamil, great. Let's move on. Yani, yani this is also extra information, consumer uh, uh, index of consumer sentiment, or how the consumer is emotionally uh, yani affected, and related to economic conditions, and how they uh, yani respond to economic conditions general information, economic forces, the ability of consumers to buy. I just talked to you about this. The gross income, disposable income, discretionary income. And in terms, you don't have to know details about them, but just try as much as possible.
to gather information about your markets. Uh, more about, I think the slide is uh, repeated, yeah. Sorry? I'm sorry. Um, this is repeated again. Social culture uh, environment. Here, I will stop here in culture because really in Qatar, it's one of the main countries really in the region that's really taking care of the environment. And the sustainability, the sustainability goals are really part of the Qatar vision for the yeah, I mean, it's important. We see a lot of initiatives inside the country about recycling, about taking care of the, of the, of the greenery, of the, of the environment, preserving the environment. There is a lot of acts and things happening inside the country about this. Uh, here, for example, like outdoor deer and wilderness trips are marked in response consumers going appreciation of nature. It's true. Here, we find people going, uh, there's a season for that. Huh? People in the seasons, the, the, the winter, the, the, the weather gets better, especially nowadays. People start going, you know, safari inside the uh, sand. I don't know what, taking their cars, where drifting, where doing this, doing that. This is part of the culture. You have to know and understand the market with all its dimensions. Yani. If you want to divide Qatar into a couple of months, yani. in these months, this happens. This is the season for the back to school. This is the season for the winter break. This is the season and people in winter. These kinds of activities are done in winter. These kinds of activities are done in summer. Summer, the country is almost empty. Everything is out. family. Our family. Yeah, anyway. Uh, views of the, this is nice. I like this. Yani. Society shapes the values and norms, including people. Views of themselves, views of others, views of organizations, views of society, views of nature, views of the universe. Yani. Really, this is what shapes you your beliefs, your attitudes, your norms, your values, your culture that you have inherited from your parents, that your parents are meant from their parents. And this is how it goes. And, it's, and it makes you unique compared to others. Yani. That's, that's what makes you. You know, different. It's important to understand how these kinds of things affect your business. Yeah, and if you are in the entertainment business, it's very important to understand these kinds of things. To know what to do, what not to do, what the seasons, what. Okay, now season four, whatever, doing this in Qatar. Now season four, I'm not doing that in Qatar, and so on. So you have to know so that you can plan your business. That's very important for anybody who runs a business in the country. As we talked, we talked about the natural environment, how important it is. Taban in many Arab countries, even in the Gulf is the least, yeah, and especially in Qatar. Because in many Arab countries, they are suffering from from pollution, from problems, preserving the environment. From, yeah, we have a lot of issues about this in many Arab countries. And in Cairo, it's maybe the third or the fourth most polluted city in the world. Now I think it's better. It's better yeah, it was suffering. I think now it's important. If you want, if you're thinking about running a global brand and taking it to Egypt, you have to know how people are thinking, what's happening, the nature, the environment. You know, it's important. Also, another important thing is the rules. Taban shortage of raw materials. All these are trends. Yeah. Increase in energy cost. I will arrange these slides. Maybe just a little bit. They are, uh, uh, yani the problem. There is a new trend now that's called green marketing. Green marketing. Even McDonald's, in these kinds of very recycled packaging, using recycled things, uh, trying to, uh, for every, I don't know what we are saving, I don't know how many lives of blue work. Yeah, and doing these kinds of things that show, as I told you before, there's a huge budget now inside companies for what we say social responsibility, cause related marketing. Social marketing, green marketing. You have to give back to the community. Because if you wait, there is no community. Who will you who will buy your brand? They are smart. They're not doing this because they love you. They're doing this because they know that if I wake up in the morning and everybody's sick, my business and they do what this happened in the pandemic. Remember the economic recession, well global economic recession. In the airline business, in transportation business, in the food. The only people who are living, those with the fast food, hello, 
complete. I know I want to drink. I don't get pick up food. I don't, because this is what we're doing, sitting at home. Huh? Those who are capable of transforming their business model from offline to online, maybe they're doing great. But not everybody had not everybody was ready for this move. Not every country has a technology. Not everybody has penetration rate of internet to 98%. Like not all the countries are the same. We took a look what happened to Europe. Europe, no thing that Europe, wow, wow. Italy. How many people died? How many suffered? They were not ready. Nobody was ready for this. SubhanAllah, it's a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody was ready for this. So you have to observe and see. A lot of people have reconsidered the resources and their abilities and their uh, economies and their uh, plans, crisis management after the pandemic. Look, I think the pandemic is just the beginning. That's my point. I think so. Yeah, and wait for more, inshallah. <laughs> Okay, uh, technology, technology and Qatar, yeah, and that's for sure. Technology and Qatar are best friends. That's for sure. Qatar is a very high developed country in terms of infrastructure, in terms of technology, in terms of always adopting the most recent things in technology, especially in the mobile industry, the communication industry, everything. The healthcare, mashallah, it's, it's affecting education, affecting the healthcare. For sure, yeah. you, know, you have to, if your business is related to something like that, you have to know this kind of information. Very important to observe and see. Okay. That's ex extremely important. Different kinds of technology, from wearables to artificial intelligence, to, yeah, things are really evolving in this area. And uh, the market readiness stage, is the market ready now to take this kind of technology or no? What culture, what thing, and it's interesting, Saraha. How the impact of this on the cons on the customers' values, very important. How how it impacts our lives. Yeah, you know, we are a little bit. There is always good side and bad side of everything. And technology also. There is the good and bad. People are becoming socially inferior because of technology. People are becoming socially inferior. We are all the new generation. We are suffering from this. The kids, they don't know how to talk. Yeah. They don't want to talk. They just want to do like this. They don't want to talk. Their social skills is my life. Even some students, I'm teaching now for a lot of years, from 79, 1979. Now 2021, 22, How many years is this? 79. I teach <laughs> 1979. 1979. 1979. 1979. 1979. 1979. 1979. Yeah. And on the way, yeah. it was there, but not something so. I mean, if someone has a lot of wow, it was, and you see the changes that's happening. I used to make, when I was a student at university, I used to make assignments, paper assignments, written and designs and drawings and writing. And, yeah, it was interesting, and using different colors of pens and stuff like that. My notebook was very organized. And the title, the subtitle, the title the class. You have the notes in class, and then I go home, I write them in a nice way. I used to give them to all my, to my friends in the, in the class, they used to make copies of these notes. So I still have these books until now. See how education has changed. Now it's adopting technology. Now we're writing on iPads. Now we can speak in the phone. That's the writing class. But really, when I see, I saw students about one time, one of my students, they used to do so good presentation, so much, because this was the only way to express yourself. There wasn't, you know, sitting and doing. So they speak. They stand in front of the class and speak. Now when I tell students to do presentations, no, I don't want to do a presentation. Doctor, I can't speak in front of the. I don't know what. I mean, what is this? Yeah, your colleagues, your all one family. Just no, speak. 
you have to learn how to speak and talk and express yourself and convince and relay them and rise and criticize the world around you. That's an important skill that you have to have. Unfortunately, because of the internet, because of the closed thing, al it has nothing to do with conservatism. It has nothing to do with this. It's how you were learning to think and criticize and relate to the world around you. If you're 24 7 on your electronic device, where is the social skills you're acquiring? Online? It's fake world. You know, this is a fake world. Social media is a fake world, for sure. What you see on social media has nothing to do with reality. <laughs> has nothing to do with reality. We are all on it. I am on it, unfortunately, because of my, I have a private business. I have to be there. But this is not the real life. And it has caused a lot of distortion for the society and for the kids and for the coming generations. Well, it's getting worse with augmented reality, augmented, I don't know what. Yeah, يعني you're gonna you're gonna buy fake houses, fake uh, stocks, fake go fake beaches. It's so much, yeah, you know. <laughs> it's crazy. This is what's going, you read about it or not, with the next with the metaverse and all this stuff. If you read about it, it's crazy. The augmented reality and the virtual reality, it's getting worse. So anyway, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for brands and for marketers now to deal with these things. It's a challenge. <laughs> okay, but this is not proper marketing. This is fake marketing. Yeah? This is you are deceiving the customer. And even if you, if he even goes once, they will not come again. And we agree that this is not marketing. So it's even selling online. It's bad selling. You know, but I, I agree with you, it happens. I agree with you, it happens. Then e-commerce, how e-commerce is booming and it's becoming a big business. Look at Amazon, that's become, Amazon is number one now in terms of brand value globally. Amazon is number one globally in terms of brand value. Especially, of course, in the pandemic, their sales have doubled or tripled because of everybody's now is moving towards buying online. So internet of things and so on technological environment as this is also trends in the Arab world and in the uh, Gulf region. A huge pace of change, unloads of puts for innovation, too much varying research and development budgets, increased regula regulation of technological changes and things like that. So now also with the problem that happened with Facebook and the conspiracy theory and this and stuff, and the privacy as we talked about privacy before, remember when uh, you talk about the privacy. I told you that everything happens under the consent of the consumer. You indirectly have disclosed your privacy. Or do you like it or not? Because you're on this. And you're on the board. You don't have a choice. So indirectly, you said bye bye to privacy. It's fact. But the level that how much you're involved is different from one person to another. What you're using, what you're doing. But the device itself, once you open it and it's there and you're connected, hugs. Goodbye, friends. Tell me about these things. Don't waste your time and energy to find friends. <laughs> you won't. But how much the level it depends on what you're doing over the return of us. This is a fact. It's, it's, we're living in this now. Okay, but you have to observe and see the shifts in technology from from 1G to to 5G now. And Qatar, where's 5G? And how this affected the businesses? Some interesting data here also is the internet penetration. This is old, 2011. I think this has changed after the and now Qatar. No, the the percentage is much higher. 90s and 80s. This is old information, so you can always update it. Yeah, tamam. Competitive poor forces, competition. I will stop here. This is very, very, very important, especially for your projects. You have to try to make a sort of competitive analysis. Who are your main competitors? Who are the main players in your business today? If you are not, then you ask yourself these questions. I put some interesting questions for you in the um, in the project. You have to see. How many? How many sellers? How many players are in the market? Who are the main players? How tough is it? 
the competition. That's very important. What is common between you and competitors? And what makes you different than them? And so on. Very important. Come on, this is tough, interesting terminology that you should know. The different kinds of competitions. Come on, pure competition. Many sellers. Example, USA. I would say USA and France. It's USA more. Pure competition. Pure supply and demand laws apply. No government intervention whatsoever. This doesn't exist in the Arab world, unfortunately. It doesn't. It doesn't exist in the Arab world, which I don't think is right. This is why we find the huge fluctuation in prices. We find uh, inflation rates increasing. We find monopolistic acts by some of the brand owners. They read all the people who are doing this. Why? 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 Because nobody's competing with them. It's a problem. No competition. Yalla, consumer is the victim. Because if there is no competition, the consumer is deprived from one of his main yani, benefits, which is the right to choose. If there is no competition, what will I choose? What are you marketing about? I don't have the right to choose. So, you know, marketing, no need, no use. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh, that's why marketing is not practiced sometimes very well in some of our countries because of the problems of the competition, the problems of the government intervention, the problems of the monopolistic acts from some of the brand owners. So marketing really is not really doing what they should do. Uh, 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 we have, of course, monopolistic competition, which is many sellers, but and if he substitutable products, and it's, a, it's, it's at a, a lesser level than the pure competition. Yeah, and it's some government intervention, but minor, maybe in the main things or you know, uh, basic products just to preserve the economy and uh, mm -hmm. all this. Coming by a little oligopoly, few sellers. Yeah, let's say Egypt, the telecommunication is an oligopoly. We have three main brands now, actually, much on that four. We have four players, three to four players. Oligopoly is three to four players in the market. And they're controlling the market. In the pharmaceutical industry, you might find this. In the uh, telecommunication industry, you might find this. Pure monopoly, but it's not me and I'm just me. 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 I'm just it's not, not easy then to give it to, you know, it's not, it's, it should be public. Yeah. Some industries should be public. Some, I mean, some things, they, why are they public? Why don't you open it for the market? Why don't you have many players? It's for the benefit of the consumer. So this is the kinds of competitions. In, you have, I want you, it's interesting to know for your brand, inside what kind of competition am I dealing with? Are there many players? I'm not saying they're the healthier market, the more competitors, the healthier the better for the benefit of the consumer, because competition is healthy. The prices will go up. Competition happens all over the world. It's not just a problem. It's true. Competition is healthy and good. It's for the benefit of the consumer. Because nobody is controlled. Like, ah, I'm not going to use you, I'm going to open this brand. No, I'm not going to give you, I'm going to buy this brand. But when I'm the only player, the consumer doesn't have a choice. This is the problem. This is an issue. Observing this for your industry is important as well. So please learn about competition and competitive pro forces and barriers to entry. Power, who has the power? Buyers more or suppliers more? The man. Who are the existing competitors and substitutes? What about small businesses? Can they operate? One of the good things also in Qatar here, it's encouraging small businesses. It's encouraging entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs who should, you know, can open their own business and they can operate. It's not difficult to open a business in Qatar. And it's something positive. So this is important to understand. Great. Uh, last things is the regulatory and the political ba'a. Extremely, extremely important if you're operating in any kind of country to be able to understand and know what are the rules and regulations for operating in this country. 
for owning a business in this country, for owning a brand in this country. Respecting the this very this these things is very important. Yeah. Uh, طبعا, this is consumerism and these kinds of movements mainly in Europe, United States and North America and all that uh, is, is common things يعني, that have happened all for the benefits of the country. Also, I would add the Bill of Rights for the consumer, right to be heard, the, the right to choose, the right to uh, get informed, the right to... يعني, interesting, the uh, JFK Bill of Rights that was made also, that gives the consumers rights. And gives it, but it's very important to respect the consumer. In marketing, the number one is the consumer. The starting point and the ending point is the consumer. Does your company believe in marketing that you're going in? They have marketing departments, but are they really practicing marketing? Are they really putting the consumer as a priority and their needs or no? You have to ask yourselves. So you have to check out in the companies that you are going to be doing in your projects. Last thing is the political and the legal environment. And as you can see, the market should be aware of two main trends. The increase in business registrations, it has, yes. And even Qatar, if you wanted to open a business five years ago, it was much easier than now. We are making it more and more complicated. Okay? Growth of special interest. There's nothing else in Qatar, it's globally. It's, just, it's a trend. It's a global trend, especially in the Arab world. More registration, more feed bureaucracy, a little bit. Did you hear this word before? Bureaucracy? Yeah. Write it down. Bureaucratic, bureaucracy, too much paperwork, too much documents, too much. It has to be a lot of money. You know, bureaucratic, mainly characteristics of governments being bureaucratic, too much documentation, too much paperwork. I like the. Uh, Bureaucracy, B E U R. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Bureaucracy. I think it's like this. How does it affect? Uh, B U. Huh? B U. B U R E. B E U. B U E U. Yeah. R E. Huh? E. E. R. Yeah, bureaucracy. So it's something like this. Check it out. I haven't written it in a while. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I like to close with this nice example. Mecca Cola. Of course. Greenwash? Greenwashing? Ah, okay. Come on, this is a, uh, yani, yeah. It's, uh, I see this happening. Yeah. Also, it's one of the trends, yeah. One of the things that are happening, yeah. yeah that's not, of course, acceptable. Uh, political legal environments, uh, as you can see, let me open the chapter here. Why is the chapter like that? I'm so bad. Just a second. Okay. I want to open it. Mm -hmm. All the terms are in the end. Why are the slides hiding? I will open these slides. Sorry for hiding them. This, I think it's by mistake. I mean. No, no, I will. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I like some of the things inside. I left this. You can use it for your projects. Very interesting. You can use these sheets. I like them, actually. Uh, you can use them for your project. I just wanted to remove this to get the wording. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh... Yeah, just a second. There you are. Yeah. Uh, I think Coca-Cola bought it. But so this happened, look, the polit politics plays a very important role when it comes to, um, you know, uh, I will change the slide. I will put new slides. I will appear the other slides and put them on the, on the blackboard. Too, like I did with chapter one. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, 
Yes, remember there was times, I remember in my country, there was times when we were boycotting, boycotting the all products that are, uh, have Israeli affiliations and the Jewish stuff and this. It was really bad in our country. I remember they were, uh, we had uh, Sainsbury, it's all because Sainsbury is mainly the owners are Jewish or something like that. It, it didn't stay in Egypt for more than two weeks yet. They got it out. They went and they uh, crashed it and it went down. We don't want it in our country. Other things, they were boycotting American products for a while also. And I remember this was, this was, this was, the idea. this was, well, people have changed now. Not us. Unfortunately, things have changed. French products, also Bravo. Recently, I have many friends, they sending lists and we don't want to, let's not go to one break, let's not buy French products, let's go and buy this. Yes, a lot of, I know a lot of people are doing that. And some people are still doing that. But it's not becoming strong like before. That's what I want to say. People have changed. People are frustrated. People are like, it's again our government and they're not doing that. Why are we doing that? You know, people are starting to think differently about life. You know, I'm not going to affect them. It's not me that's going to affect them. But you know, there was a specific time, specifically with the French thing, it was affecting them. When everybody was doing it. You know? So boycotting, politics, stuff like that, of course it affected business, for sure. For sure it affected business. That's for sure. Especially make a cola, they stay at them for a while. And then Coca-Cola simply went and purchased it. Allah has the film? Okay, yalla ta'ala. And they purchased it. Coca-Cola is a universe. It's not a brand. Okay, so, yeah, but interesting to see how people, how things are happening and so on. We'll add all the other slides. Uh, let me uh, hear.